Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Good. So we're huge fans of Senna. Hey, you guys. Um, what did you expect it to be such a success when you first started to work on it? No, you, you always hope. You know, what we knew we had with Senna was that he's a film star. He was the most incredible human being. And um, I remember when Asif first saw him on a big screen, he went, oof, this guy is a film star. We've got a chance of making something that's going to cross over to people who aren't just Formula One fans. But I think ultimately, you know, when you get the box office in, when you read the reviews, when you see what ordinary people blog, it is the most incredible feeling, honestly. Why do you think it resonated with people so much? I'm very good. How are you? You know, I think there are two reasons. He's, he's an incredible character, but I think something about Britain, we really have Formula One in our blood, even if we don't, and so he's important, just, just important to us in our unconscious. Hey, you guys are a massive fan of the film. Um, what We were very disappointed when you guys weren't nominated for an Oscar. How did that... We get on the shortlist. I don't know. We're, we're all pretty, pretty gutted about it. I mean, we, it's hard to know how the process works, you know. We never got to any stage where there was actually any voting. So somewhere the committee picked the films and we didn't even make the first... We didn't make the starting grid. So uh, there's nothing we can do about it. We're almost over it. All, almost over it. Does it maybe mean more, though, to be nominated something like a British Independent Film Award that kind of gets to the crux of what sort of British filmmaking is all about? I mean, it's a really strong year. Uh, I think British film's in a very good place. Uh, I was here 10 years ago, my first film, The Warrior, so it's great to be back again. And, uh, you know, let's see what happens. It's very it's exciting. Um, we're up against some really good movies as well. And also the Biffers, you know, there's a good party afterwards. You have fun. It's not too heavy. People enjoy themselves. People may get quite drunk. So there's always a bit of a tension in the air here, which is always exciting. So you've done Senna. What's next? Have you got any other projects lined up? I've got a bunch of projects lined up, uh, both documentaries and dramas. And now really it's just a matter of waiting to get them together. Deals are being done. You know, they take a while to get together. Senna took nearly one or two years from the initial conversation to actually when we started making it. So I'm kind of ready to, hopefully by middle of next year, I'll be cracking into the middle of a film. But uh, quite a few of them still to be sorted out. Can we get any hints about what the documentaries might be about? I'd love to do another sporty one. There's another potentially sport-based documentary that I'm in conversation about right now. So hopefully, you know, early next year, there may be some news about that. Brilliant. And how's Senna gone down in America? Went down really well. Did very well. Um, it's won a load of prizes, won audience prizes, it's done very well at the box office, uh, picked up a few kind of nominations from other categories, other awards over the last few days, so it's, it's done the thing that people thought was impossible, which is to make Formula One popular across the US. It really seems to have helped to get the word out there. Brilliant, thank you so much, good luck for tonight.